So what are we doing, hon? We're going on around town, right? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna stop by Lowe's and go by the Wally World. We yep. can get some <laughs> so we're heading into town. We just stopped by Kubota. What did we have to get at Kubota? Huh? What did we have to get at Kubota? I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> we had to get an extra key for the tractor. <laughs> this whole back and forth between Florida and Tennessee gets challenging when you are halfway to one location or the other and you realize you forgot something. Especially tractor keys. <laughs> I don't know who did that. <laughs> so we got a spare set. So that's great. Now we have a set for Tennessee and a set for Florida. Um, but we need those so we can unload the equipment, the implements off the flatbed and bring the flatbed back to Florida for the move. So that was essential that we were able to use the tractor. <laughs> um, and then yeah, we're going to Walmart. We got to get some lamps for our bedroom. Um, and because we put together our end tables today, which was super exciting. We each put our own end table together. It was pretty successful. And we're going to go to Lowe's. What are we going to Lowe's for? I want to look at getting some primer paint mm. for the trim so that it goes a little easier. Yeah. And then I, I want to just look around. Oh, I need to get a hook for the front porch so I can hang up yeah, the... A few random things we want to look at. I got a new wind chime, which I'm super excited about. I order all of our wind chimes from this company called Asterin Official. They're um, on Instagram and they sell via Amazon and they have a new line of wind chimes out. So I purchased one and I'm super excited about it. It has a solar panel on the top and it lights up and it's like a globe. I'll have to show you guys. I'll take a picture or I'll take some video of it when we're back at the house once it's up. So I need like um, a way to hook it to the eye bolts that are up in the front porch ceiling. So I need to get something for that. Oh, we're going shopping for a shotgun. Yeah, that's what I said we're going to the oh, gun store. Oh, didn't hear him say the gun store. <laughs> yeah, so we're going shopping for a shotgun, so we're super excited. My dad gave us a really generous Christmas gift, so that should help us with that purchase. Um, so we're super, super excited about that. So yeah, we'll take you guys along with us on our Tennessee adventures. We're here for four, well, three days, and then we go home on Sunday. And then the next time we're back is round one of the move. So, lot, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so as we talked about before, um, Jose is gonna be back and forth for a while, and me and the dogs are gonna be farming it up and getting all of the seeds and everything started that first well we'll move the first week of March and then we'll start planting um, getting all the seeds going yeah she's got a lot to do I mean she's got to get with the NRCS kind of finish the high tunnel um, deal there yep um, we're actually gonna be visiting them sometime today hopefully tomorrow tomorrow yeah and uh, but yeah beginning of the year is when all that paperwork and everything is kind of finalized and we get ready to do the purchasing and planning yeah. of how they're gonna go up so Nicole will be here for that I'll come by and you know help assist with whatever we need and then come back again and, and build those that, that, yeah be pretty cool. and we actually got in addition to the high tunnel and we're gonna do a whole high tunnel video eventually not just of like the setup but a whole video about this whole NRCS process that we went through and the different programs available but we um, actually decided to do the part where it's a rain catchment system on the high tunnel as well. So that's something that we're working on with them. Um, they have to get an engineer out. So I believe we're gonna be installing the high tunnels, but they're gonna need to come out. I think they come out and assist with the install of all the gutter systems, the pump and the reservoir system for the rain catchment on both of the high tunnels. So yeah, that's and I think we're super also exciting. The, um test dummies for this because they've never done that before yeah in our in our town the nrcs rep that we work with josh he was like this is all new to me we haven't done this one yet so we're excited um it's such a great resource using the nrcs and the different programs that they have so again we'll do a full video of that at some point um 
but we want to give you guys the updates as we go through the process. Tomorrow we're going to meet with Josh at the office and we're going to review the plans, which is exciting. I don't know if I can like take video of that or anything or even like get a picture of it, but I'll see um, so that I can share a little bit of that with you guys if possible. And we are at one of our favorite places Big in town, <laughs> Lowe's. Doing a little home decor shopping. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi! It's Goji Papa! Come here, Leah! Those are <laughs> they wanted to come say hi. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Leah, were you a good girl? Morning. Yeah. You guys want to go outside? Come on, guys. Drop it. Dose, you can't take your blankie outside. Drop it. We were just down in town and it was warm enough that I didn't need a jacket, but up here I am a bit colder. It is a gorgeous day here at the farm. The weather has been wonderful. It's been sunny and beautiful. Earlier today, I wish I had gotten it on film. The dogs were chasing each other around the workshops and Dozer couldn't keep up with Dahlia, so he was crying, like making these crazy yelping sounds because he was frustrated. It was so funny. Good boy. Good girl. So with all the snow that we got recently, we did lose our peach tree, which broke off here. See right there. Um, which really is no big deal. We were going to take it down anyway, because if you take a look at it, it's diseased really bad. And we were told it was disease beyond hope. So we were gonna take that down anyway. So no big deal. <laughs> Dozer's trying to put his head between your legs. Sorry. Awesome. It looks level, right? Yeah. Over here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Nice. So I am back in the house and Jose's outside. You just saw him start the tractor. So he is just running the tractor. Um, we went and got that extra key. Um, so he's just running the tractor just to get it on, you know, get it warmed up, make sure everything's working fine. Tomorrow he'll pull up, he'll pull the trailer out, empty off the trailer, and then be able to have an empty trailer to take home, which will be nice. So I'm inside. We just got back from town and from shopping and eating. You saw the micheladas, those were so delicious. We have this little taco place in town that we really like. It's a, it's actually a Mexican restaurant. They have tons of different food options. We love their tacos. Um, so we got this taco platter and that's what we shared. Um, that was our meal basically for today. We didn't have breakfast or anything, just some coffee. Um, it's funny when we're up here, we eat so much less. We're just like busy and we're doing farm stuff. And even though we're more active, we're just, um, I don't know, we eat like one or two meals rather than like three meals and snacks. So I'm rambling. Um, so I am back inside and I'm going to start putting away the stuff that we purchased, which I'm excited about. And I'll show you some updates in our bedroom. 
So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff. So this right here, we got for the laundry room. I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna open it up. So if you've seen any of my reels, one of them was about laundry powder, like a laundry boost, an all natural like DIY laundry boost that I make. Um, it's not my recipe, but I make it and it's super good. It like, because we use natural um, laundry detergent, sometimes I feel like it doesn't clean as well. Um, and so you just need a little extra boost and I wanted something with scent. So you use essential oils, but it's basically baking soda and um, Epsom salt and essential oils, whichever essential oils you want to use. So yeah, I'm going to put that in here because this opens it up and oh, it's stuck in here. I taped it in there. Oh boy. Um, it has a handy little scoop that I can use. And this is like a really good size. So this is probably a quarter cup. So for most big loads, I'll use two of these of the laundry boost that I make. But then it also hangs on the outside. Super cute. And I'll show you in the laundry room, we have another piece that actually like goes with that set. Let me turn this, oh, let me close this because the fumes are getting in here. Fumes from the tractor being on in the garage are coming in the laundry room. So, Toss the dog stuff in there. So in the laundry room here, we've got our shiplap wall and our accent wall and our units here. And then above the washer and dryer is gonna be a wood and iron pipe shelf. Over here is gonna be a like butcher block countertop with iron pipe. Underneath it, we'll be able to store um, bins for us to put dirty laundry in from when we come out, come from outside on the farm back into the house. We're gonna have like a station here, like a hall tree for our boots and jackets, but anything that needs washed can go right in here. And then we can go into our room and shower so that we're not dragging dirt and everything through the house. So yeah, butcher block countertop over here, some more shelves. Um, we're gonna have like a hang dry rack up here so that I can hang dry clothes. And then as you can see, no, you can't see, Still getting used to recording on my iPhone with this new setup. Um, we have this, and I'm excited because I'll be able to put all of these things in the laundry room, and they'll look super cute. This is currently what I have the boost, the laundry boost powder in. It's just a mason jar, and I would prefer not to have to store it in a mason jar, just for safety, so I don't drop it. Um, and so I'm not using a mason jar for something I need to. So I will dump that in there. This I made at the other house and brought here. I need to make. Now I have space that I can make more. Yeah, so that is exciting. So I'm looking forward to getting the laundry room situated. So we did get a little bit of groceries at the store, but we also brought a lot of stuff with us from home. Whenever we have, and that doesn't need to go in there, whenever we have um, vegetables from the farm, we bring those. So I brought vegetables that we grew and then some vegetables that I already had on hand from the store. And I also brought eggs, of course. Um, and then some meat we already had in the freezer at the house. So I bring stuff with us so that we don't have to buy as much when we're up here. Um, so that's nice. So I got most of the groceries unpacked. <laughs> then all of these eggs. Let's put you guys down here so you can see these. All of these eggs are eggs that we've had up here at the farm that we've had to buy like at Walmart. And they are not, they're obviously not organic. Um, I try to buy organic whenever we could find them. But we just, especially when the kid, our kids were here, you know, there's four of them. So we just bought what was available and what they had a large supply of. But now that we have our own eggs and we know exactly what the chickens are being fed and how they're being raised, we're kind of spoiled. I guess not kind of, we really are spoiled. So I pretty much refuse to eat any other eggs now. <laughs> so all of these eggs I have to find a use for. Um, 
there's quite a bit in there. So they've been up here at the, the house for quite a while already. So honestly, I'll probably just toss them out into the woods like I do with food scraps and uh, let them feed the soil out there and feed whatever critters or animals find them. Um, yeah, they're pretty old, so definitely not something I would want to donate or gift to anyone. So I'm just going to toss them out in the woods. Sound good, babe? Sounds good, babe. We should, oh, we could go throw eggs. That'll be fun. No. No, we're going to throw them in the woods together. We can have an egg throwing party. <laughs> you guys, look at Jose's new shirt. He looks super handsome, doesn't he? <laughs> that face. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put a bunch of eggs out in the woods. And I'm going to save the cartons. I actually have a stockpile of cartons in the canning room already. Coming in behind you. Hey, you guys stay here. Hey, 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 hey. I have a stockpile of cartons somewhere in here. Oh, right up there. Look it. All right, so these go up here. See, there's my stockpile of cartons which we could really use at the Florida house now since the chickens are laying and we decided that we're probably going to keep them there with Jose for a bit and not bring them to Tennessee as soon as we thought we were. So I should probably take those cartons all back to Florida. <laughs> oh well. I also got a ton of mail from the mailbox, a lot of which is junk, but we did get a few really important things. One is our farm stamp, which is really exciting. Um, our farm stamp, for those of you that didn't see that video. So the farm stamp is a tax exemption for agricultural purposes. Um, so we applied for that and we were granted our farm stamp, which is really great. So that basically saves us from having to pay tax on any agricultural purchase that we make. So feed, supplies, fencing, anything agricultural, we do not have to pay tax on, which is amazing. Um, and we're gonna talk about that in another video as well and share that with you guys because I had never heard about that until our friendly neighborhood Kubota dealer told us about it, which was awesome. And then I got a form back from the IRS that I did not sign, that I sent in for the business, and I didn't sign it. So there's that. And I got a jury summons for Warren County for February 9th, which I cannot make. So I need to send this in and let them know that I cannot be there. I need to be excused, so I need to figure that out because I'm not going to be here. So I'm glad that we were here this time, I'm glad we got the mail. I put all of our junk mail in our burn barrel, everything else I will go through. So just so you guys know, if my camera work is a little weird, it's because I'm getting used to recording on my iPhone, which the camera's over here and I'm always looking over here thinking that that's where it is, but it's not. Um, so I'm using my iPhone because our GoPro setup has been like really failing me and it's very frustrating. I record lots of footage and then when I go to transfer that footage onto the computer and get it ready for you guys, the files are corrupted. And I don't know if it's the GoPro or if it's the SD card, but whatever it is, I don't know that it's happening until, unless I either see the camera flicker, like the when I stop recording, it'll flicker the screen. And then I know that I've really just lost all the footage that I recorded, or I don't know until I go to edit it. And I don't like plan content out ahead of time. So if I lose all that footage, I've lost it. Like I'm not re-recording that. Like I lost a bunch of Kubota footage from the delivery of our Kubota. That was us talking with the delivery guy, Hunter. And like, I can't get that footage back. So. I've just been really frustrated with it, so I am now using my phone. Um, I got this like jo Joby, Joby, Joby setup um, with like a microphone and all this stuff. So hopefully it does well. 
but I don't really like know where my frame of reference is. Holding it is a little weird for me to figure out still. So I'm sorry if it's like right up in my face. Sorry if I'm looking over this way or looking at myself and not looking at wherever the camera is on an iPhone. Um, but I'm just trying to get used to it. So bear with me. All right, so this is the rest of stuff, the stuff that we got when we were in town. And these are what our light bulbs are for. So these are our new lamps for our bedroom. <laughs> so just as I finished recording how unreliable the GoPro has been, my phone actually died, so I couldn't finish recording what I was recording inside. <laughs> but I forgot to charge it last night because we got in at like one o'clock in the morning. You got it? Yeah. But that's okay. So I was out here helping Jose. He's in the background. I wasn't helping very much. I was just trying. Hold on. Okay, take three. <laughs> so Jose's been out here putting the bagger attachment um, onto the Husqvarna, our zero turn mower. Which we're super excited about because then we can bag leaves we can bag whatever it is we're running over right babe like the grass and everything so that'll be really nice you can see it's got like the can system here behind me so i was trying to help jose with it the directions were not great husqvarna you need to step up your game when it comes to the directions with your equipment because they were very unclear and what the direction said did not match what the pictures showed. So that was fun. And we're kind of at a stopping point because unfortunately we don't have a drill bit or any drill bits because they're all in Florida. So once again, we're going to go back into town tomorrow and purchase something that we already have back in Florida because we don't have it here and we need it here in order to finish what we're doing. But that's okay. Not, not a big deal, small price to pay. We are incredibly blessed and happy to be here and it's okay that we didn't bring everything with us. And oh my gosh, this sunset guys, we get the most beautiful sunsets out here on the farm. I'm absolutely in love with the sunsets here. They're so gorgeous. So I'm going to flip you guys around so you can see this. Check that out. So pretty. I do apologize for all the road noise. all the eggs while the dogs are inside so they don't try and eat them all. <laughs> Hello. So I was trying to hit the tree. I missed. That one broke. <laughs> Egging your own house. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> so the eggs are thrown. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that. All right, guys. Another gorgeous day on the farm. I'm gonna go see if these dogs want to come out and run around for a little bit here. Let them play. Hi, baby girl. Hi. You good girl? Are you a good girl? All right, guys, so that's going to do it for our first video up here on the farm for this trip. 
there will be a couple more videos coming out so stay tuned if you guys haven't subscribed please make sure you hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up if you like the video we appreciate you hanging out with us around the farm and around town today and we'll see you in the next one